Hey guys, so my name is Patrick. I'm wedding videographer slash dad. I recently picked up the Sony 11 F 1.8 for the Sony FX 30. Maybe I could still use it on my Sony A7S as well. I'll try that later. But yeah, uh, basically this is just my thoughts and opinion. I might even able to use it on my Sony A7S 3 which is a full frame camera. 1.8 has a 55 millimeter filter thread. Same with my Sigma 18 to 50. I really love this Sony 11 f1.8 because it's really nice and light and it's just so compact and I could easily make a room for my lens in my bag and that I could probably carry it and travel with and with the build quality I haven't chat about that it's kind of plasticky but it has some some rubber gasket on it but it's probably not gonna be using it on a soaking rain. Maybe it's pissing a little bit. Might be able to use it. But that's the reason why I get this FX30 anyway. So I could just be a little bit more risky with my camera. And mount it everywhere. And get some creative B-roll of myself. Or never a trouble or anything like that. And it's nice and light. Light and compact. And I know the FX30 is still a full frame baddie. The same with fx3 i like the dual sd card it has a pan it can record longer than 30 minutes and that is great thing about it because i shoot weddings a lot kind of professional shooting style i think that is a must for me and with the side of filmmaking my child and travel and i know i haven't traveled in the future uh thinking of carrying this two lens combo the 18 to 50 and this Sony 11 f1.8 and maybe I could roll with it. Only downside, you know, it's the low light filming weddings and apparently I'm not using it much. I'd love to carry this camera and be a little bit more risky and, you know, get the shots. Gonna be, I know I test, I really use my camera when filming weddings, but this time, you know, filming myself, you gotta put it everywhere, you know, just to get those full angles and whatever sometimes you know you have to just crank the shutter and get your right exposure but it is what it is uh try to do my best to have like my have a motion blur on my shots to have like more cinematic quote unquote but you know if you wanted to shoot and stabilize in pose like using catalyst brows you just probably wanted to shoot uh, more than 100 of a second, like crank that shutter so you could get that nice stabilized footage when you work in post reduction. And basically, you just don't need to shoot on active, so you could use the Catalyst Browse, I think it is, as far as I knew about it. But you just use the, you know, regular stabilization mode and it's gonna work and yeah i think that's how i thought about it and yeah for most part you rock with your camera and be, just film whatever you want and make a story it's all about it thank you guys i'll see you on the next one